Super Dave here with another review. Hey, I just want to take a moment to introduce you to the new Super Dave membership section. Come on and join us today. There's some cool perks, including the Super Dave shop. Buy some action figures at a good price and connect with me on a more personal level. Let's take it to the next level. Come on, let's have fun. Thundercats, Thundercats, ho! And it's Super Dave here again with another Thundercats action figure review. And this time, another good guy. We're taking a look at Hitachi Man. Hachiman, <laughs> Hachiman, <laughs> Hachiman, Hachiman, and he is a samurai warrior. He is looking cool, and uh, I always want to say Hachiman for some reason, or Hatachiman, but it's Hachiman, Hachiman, and he is so neat looking. I really like the look of this figure. He just looks cool. He has a cool backstory. He's one of those secondary figures of the line. Uh, but I am so stoked that we got him. He is just looking really cool there. Look at him there. His serious looks. Got his helmeted head as well. We're going to take a look at all of his accessories. There's the awesome artwork on the back. And there's that bio. If you want to pause and read that now, you certainly can. But let's go ahead and break open our Hachiman and check him out over here on third earth with the other thundercats we know that mumra summoned him as you read but he eventually became a good guy and helped lion -O and the thundercats when he was summoned or when he came to help and that's exactly what we're going to look at right now and here we are on third earth getting ready to take a look at hachaman he is looking so cool Let's first take a look at our Hachiman's accessories. And Hachiman, first of all, comes with a set of balled up fisted hands here. As you can see, those are cool. And then some gesturing open palm style hands or like maybe holding the palm out or even handshaking type hands. And he also comes with a special set here right and the left one is a thumbs up or really what I believe it is is a, a different way to hold the sword and then more of a pointer finger hand there and then he comes equipped with two weapon holding hands and not sure what way they bend we'll look at that in articulation then he comes with a sheathed samurai type sword and then another sword here that is equipped with an effect as you see almost like a lightning type charged effect so that when he becomes Hachiman he uses the thunder cutter and that's what that sword becomes the thunder cutter and you can see there's a little place to stick his sheath sheath sword there on his side so that's cool and notice there's a removable part here on the chest piece which we'll look at that in a closer look but that is so you can replace that with this insignia when he's Hachiman and that way you can turn him into Hachiman where instead of having this head sculpt you have his helmeted head sculpt the samurai warrior himself Hachiman complete with insignia and helmet and thunder cutter and he is just looking cool here with all these accessories and he is really decked out with a lot of cool equipment as well a lot a lot of details to this this action figure so we're going to look at that now as we take a closer look at Hachiman all right taking a closer look at our Hachiman we mentioned the fact that he comes with four different hands sets and uh we'll look at those in just a moment but I want to first take a look at this you can pop this out right here and that has a shape there for it so then you can take his Hachiman insignia and pop it right back where that was in place there you have to kind of give it a push and there you go 
He is now decked out with the Hachiman insignia. You can pop off this head sculpt, of course. Oh, it's tight. <laughs> and just notice how it's got the cool little rubber pieces back here, which is really neat around his headband. They're not cloth, but they're soft rubber, but they are definitely really nice and detailed. Love that head sculpt as well. Just really nice looking there. But let's go ahead and take the helmeted one and let's see if that one will pop on easy enough. Yes, it popped on really good because a lot of times with the second head sculpt, especially with Super 7 stuff, for some reason it don't want to don't want to go on well, but this one did, so that's a good thing. Just want to mention how nice the eyes look on this figure. They they just look realistic. They pop really nice. Even has some nice teeth details there like individually molded out teeth it's not just you know straight across like a lot of times you see with marvel legends and stuff there's actual detail there just excellent paint apps i haven't seen so far any qc issues on my figures the two that i've opened so far just really nice see like a, a leather almost orangish cartoon leather look to these to this strap on his back the belt that goes around everything's just well executed and well done i love the material they use it's not cloth or cloth goods but it's definitely soft enough that it gives it a realism and a padding type look so that's cool and then taking a look at this the two swords that he comes with this first sword that he comes with has the uh, sheath with it and so you're talking about a you know common looking samurai sword with a nice silver metallic paint apps on it with a gold hilt and the black wrap around there even the gold on the butt there so looking really cool and the sheath looks nice too with like a wrap around it here which will come in contact with his sheath part that comes on the figure there you can see on his side you'll be able to slide that in there look at that in just a second matter of fact we'll go ahead and slide that in there to show you how that will just go right on inside of that part really tight fit oh wow yeah that's a really tight fit tight fit there but I think that's the way it was in the show where it kind of stuck out like that as well so that that comes in into contact with the wrap like I was saying and then you get a second samurai sword which is actually I guess more to depict the thunder cutter which has a, a effect piece that slides right off or slides right on it comes in the box on but that is just so cool it's like a, a lightning effect clear just crystal clear thunder cutter lightning energy effect on that blade but it that blade that sword is pretty much like the other one except this one has the thunder cutter on it. i can't remember if he used two swords or not but um if not if it's just one sword i have to go back and look then they get it's nice of them to have given us a a sword that we could hold on to that would already have that uh, equipped even though it does come off and then have one that would go in his sheath and stuff so that's really nice Really nice touch, Super 7, thank you very much <laughs> for that. Now let's just look at a couple of the hens that are equipped. All right, so to take a look at this hen that had like the thumbs up look, see, I figured that's what it was. That is actually a hen that's allowing that thumb to rest on the hilt, kind of like they do with these kinds of swords. So that's really cool. Not only that, but it's also vertically hinged. So that's really cool, a vertically hinged wrist. So that's nice. That's nice. Those other two weapon holding hands were actually horizontally hinged, but the this one is vertically hinged. So that is your primary weapon holding sword. So it's not a thumbs up, even though it could be. <laughs> it's actually one to hold that sword properly, so that it fits right in his hand. Isn't that nice? That looks just right. I'm glad they included that. So that is very accurate really cool and again just look at that head sculpt that is just awesome awesome and then of course this hand here these are horizontally hinged we can pop that out and go ahead and show you pop that out and go ahead and show you that there's also this 
well that's the wrong hand that that would go in this one sorry <laughs> go ahead and stick a fisted a fisted hand in here like so we can go ahead and pop oop, pop that one out go ahead and show you the pointer finger one in the proper place here there we go I shall get I see that's not how you I will get you Thundercut Mamras told me how evil you are and I will get you and I will make you pay and I will purge you from third earth so there'll be no more no more damage done to the villages <laughs> this is of course before before he is told that Mumra has lied to you dude and he joins the Thundercats but anyway Hachiman he transforms or he takes on the let's say the alter ego of Hachiman with that helmet and this this insignia on his chest here very cool all right, now let's take a look at Hachiman's articulation. All right, taking a look at our Hachiman's articulation. He's going to be able to look up about that much. That's really good. He's going to be able to look down all the way. That's excellent. His head gets excellent. Pivot. Bravo. Super 7. You're batting a hundred so far with these two we actually get some good head articulation that is awesome wonderful 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 at least with this head sculpt and I believe the helmet one was doing pretty good for me a moment ago as well and just I'm just stoked about this figure he's really cool now these pieces are on little ball joints so they will definitely get out of the way you can maneuver them and uh, basically put them where you need to but he's gonna be able to get Pretty much uh, not quite a T pose as you saw one of those pop off already but it it pretty much gets out of the way you can just pop it back on there just because the fact that they hit his neck they're not going to go up any further than that but that's okay let's see so it will go full 360 because the shoulder pads go with it so that's cool we do have our bicep swivel which will work independently of that piece as well so you have bicep swivel single jointed elbows and they are on that uh, swivel but it's really tight because of the fact that it has a piece coming out pretty far right here it doesn't want to really rotate but you can force it but I'm not gonna do it but the elbows will rotate again this is the only hand the left hand here that has the thumb out that's the true sword holding hand especially the one that he uh, uses as his thunder cutter has actual vertical hinge the rest are horizontally hinged so that's a vertical hinge so that's excellent bravo super seven again you get the win there on that and then also as far as his diaphragm here there is a ball joint you just don't get a whole lot of motion there but you get what you need you're able to bend forward about that much you're able to bend back just slightly and you're not really going to be able to get any side to side motion but he will swivel at the waist so that's good so that's doing pretty good there and then he's able to get full splits he does have a thigh rotation up in there he's going to be able to kick up a really good amount he's even going to be able to kick back to get some of those strides we only have single jointed knees but look that that hinge is hidden behind this this part here but if you turn it around you'll see the hinge so you make sure that's in the right place for you try to bend that knee because you don't want to break that peg but once you know that that's there I had to heat mine up to get it to bend they're very tight mine was locked on this side but now it does bend and this side bends as well so you only get you don't even get 90 degrees but now you'll see the hinge once you bend it in the front but in that seamless the way that pant covered up that hinge until you bend it that's just really good and then like I said you do have the swivel at the knee as well the foot's gonna go all the way tiptoe it's not gonna go up very far but enough and then you get rockers and here we have again the peg hole in the front instead of the back it's almost like they're going back to the original classics because they were that way in the early years and eventually moved it back here to the back so I'm not sure why they chose to put it on the front on this guy but hey I guess maybe that's something they decided to do with this wave we'll see <laughs> but that's cool all right let's go ahead and look at the other head sculpt for its articulation all right you see how awesome this figure is so now that I've got his helmeted head and he's truly Hachiman 
We've got his insignia changed up here again, and I got that that thumb resting on that sword piece with his thunder cutter, and so that looks really cool. But that head sculpt will look up about that much. I mean, even though there's all this going on, it still looks up enough. So that's good. I mean, that is a look. That is a upward gaze. He's still able to look down all the way and still able to get some head pivot, even though it does hit the edges a little bit. He's still able to get some. So that's cool. Matter of fact, if I move that down and around a little bit, he's going to be able to pretty much go all the way with the head pivot. Um, you know, even if I had to because that's a soft rubber even if I have to put it underneath it like that you see what I mean so yeah you're gonna be able to get full head pivot just have to watch <laughs> those are gonna conflict right there uh, but you can get around it there you go so you get full head pivot as well looks really cool and of course side to side all the way he is just a dynamic figure I mean this guy will go along with my he-man and master of the universe especially classics uh, but we'll see if he'll go along with our, our um, you know, Masterverse figures too, as far as size and, and height and everything. The, these figures, though, are in line more with the classics. Don't have as much articulation, but you get the detail and the quality. Haven't seen any QC issues. All the plastic on this dude feel top quality, like you got your $55 worth by far. And the accessories that he comes with are just insane in a good way and so thank you so much for checking this part out now let's go on to <gasps> comparisons and here is Hachiman as he lines up against lion -O at the beginning and he's like you you lion -O, Mumra said you go evil you have been causing terror all over the earth and I am here to bring you down a notch. I will not fight you, Hachiman. I am lion -O, Lord of the Thundercats. And I will not fight you because Mumra's lied to you. I am not your enemy. Snarf, snarf, snarf. Watch out, lion -O, he's dangerous. And there they are side by side as they're getting ready to face off against Mumra together. Hachiman is looking awesome. And there again is Lion-O. And here he is next to Panthro and Willow. Tigra back there and Chitara and Mandor and the Electro Charger. And he is just looking awesome with the rest of these Thundercats. Just looking really good. Let's take a look at him with some Masterverse figures. All right, obviously our Hachiman is a little bit shorter than Masterverse figures, but still blends in well with them. If you want to join your Masterverse figures along with your Thundercats or just put Hachiman and Willow in with your, you know, Eternia planet, that works too. I love to do that in my pictures. There's, you know, Man-at-Arms goes well with Panthro, I've always thought, and of course He-Man and Lion-O, and there is Hachiman blending in really nicely with these characters. I love it. I like it a lot. Thank you so much for joining us for another Super Dave review. Come back and see us again soon as we'll be continuing this wave of Thundercats. Next we'll be looking at none other than one of the Lunatacks, and then Captain Shiner. So come back and see us. We'll look forward to seeing you again and be blessed. Here's some photos in the photo gallery.